Madayao, we are here to present to you the accomplishments so far in our approved goddess project entitled E4 Peace Map, a data analytics driven Pantawid Pamilyang Filipino program, maternal and neonatal outcomes monitoring, visualization, and dashboard system for the city of Vigos. My name is Dr. JV Morsha, and I'm the project leader for the project. So far, we can confidently say that the system that we were developing was actually completed uh, based on our target uh, or proposed systems in 2021. So here are the sample screenshots of our dashboard system, which includes all the modules that are necessary in the monitoring of maternal and child health outcomes and nutrition. So far, one of the uh, greatest um, features of the system or one of the best features of the system is the creation of two different modules one is one module is to develop a registry of new members in which we can actually detect if sino ang qualified based on a specific algorithm and second module is to determine if in if in case who are the members that are compliant so these are uh, current members who have been uh, receiving payouts from uh, four piece and we were able to detect uh, their compliance through their activities, and these activities were subject for the conditionalities in the in the development of another algorithm to detect whether they are compliant or not compliant. So these are mechanisms in order for us to check. Uh, there are a lot of uh, there are uh, there are a lot of members so far that are already logged in in our system or already registered in our system. So these are actually monitored by the BHW or the Barangay Health Workers. And the ones who will be approving it would be the CSWDO or the City Social Welfare Development Office in order for them to effectively monitor kung sino-sino yung magpaparegister at kung sino-sino po ang magiging candidate for the graduation. One of the features also of our, of our system is the geospatial analytics component, which includes uh, geospatial plots of our households. These are not just plots because these, they contain information. So lahat po ng mga information pertaining to households and neonatal and maternal child health outcomes and nutrition are already embedded in the system. So if in case you're going to click them, that means you can actually see their vital information and you can see them live on map. So part and parcel of the development of the system includes how can we create impact to our uh, students. So in order for us to get extra help and to, to mentor uh, students in the creation of the system, we commissioned a group of information technology students who were with us in the development of the mo mobile application. This mobile application is necessary in the validation phase because BHWs will use this remotely instead of carrying a lot of papers in validating and registering new members. So the e 4 piece map mobile system captures the image and coordinates which, which are all also synced in with our mobile application system. So the actual developed system also includes kernel density estimation uh, screenshots. So KDE, uh, in, in KDE, we're actually looking for specific hotspots where uh, the E4 piece or the four piece members are actually clustered together so that we can actually know uh, any logistical concerns and paano po namin sila effectively ma-organize and mobilize. So in, in the conduct of this activity, there are a series of activities that we were able to accomplish. Uh, these are uh, actually manifestations of the continuous, continuous support of the local government unit of Digos. So all of them started with strategic planning. So these strategic planning enable us to meet with stakeholders and we were also able to uh, gather experts who will, who will be working with the E4P SMAP project. After which is we were able to foster or to, to establish partnership through a virtual ceremonial MOU or MOA signing with our partner uh, partner LGU. So the city mayor and the president of the implementing agency was there in order for us to in order for us to solidify our commitment. So after which it started or it kick-started a lot of activities and engagements with CSWDO, city planning, as well as the barangay chairpersons. And one possible outcome was a possible partnership with the provincial local government, if in case the E4 Peace Map will be scaled on a larger, larger scope. So in the development of the system, we need to make it 
realistic. That's why we were able to conduct a lot of data validation activities. These data validation activities are not just meant to check the quality of the data that we have gathered from CSWDO, but we were able also to capture new information that were not accounted or updated uh, in the previous data set that we have. Now, when e 4 map was rolled out, we ensured that uh, the system is safe, it's actually secure, and one of the mechanisms that we were able to do is to consult third-party experts in the conduct of the vulnerability and penetration, penetration testing. So after the system was uh, used or preliminarily tested by our barangay health workers from uh, the 26 barangays in Digo City, we were able to seek approval from the committee on the resolution on the use of the e 4 map. So this was approved on the third reading and is now legislated or is now actually um, implemented as a city ordinance so that all barangays in Digo City would be using this in order to effectively monitor and register for PISMA. It's just like they are not going to carry a lot of forms anymore if in case they would go to barangays that are far flung. They were not going to carry a lot of documents and fill them up Instead, they would just be using the mobile system, which, which can actually capture the information even remote. So we were able to conduct preliminary demonstration to the city mayor, and the city mayor was very excited with the rollout of the system. So series of trainings and techno transfer activity were actually conducted in order for us to make the system um, easy to use, and we were able to, to conduct this sometime in April 2022. So our accomplishments so far are based on six weeks. We were able to prepare uh, at least three papers for, for publication. Two of them are actually um, candidate for Scopus, in, Scopus Journal uh, publication. Instead of um, just limiting the publications, we also uh, did an extra mile. We, all, we did an extra mile by applying for a copyright application through our ITSU in the university. We were able to also mentor three students and four faculty members in e 4 map who are actually responsible in the creation of our system. As to places and partnerships, the local government unit of Digo City or the capital of Davao del Sur was our partner, not only limited to one year engagement in e 4 map but also for other projects that will come out in the course of our partnership. And as to policy, we were able to accomplish and have an approved resolution cum ordinance in the implementation and rollout of the e 4 ps map. Key takeaways, e 4 ps is something that I consider as my brainchild and I'm very excited that this will be rolled out on a regional or a provincial, a provincial scale because we can see that the system was able to effectively capture 99% accuracy of uh, the incidents or the, the classification of compliance of our members. As to it research implications, we look forward to partner with different LGUs and the DOST in the conduct of more research to strengthen our claim of 99% efficacy and classification accuracy of the system.